I'm not making this up. This really is Donald Trump at his first day of work at McDonald's. I think the lead at first and show you the basics and then I'll pass over to you. All right. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do. Yeah, come on. Come on over. Thank you, sir. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a basket of fries. First thing we're going to the fryer. We're going to slowly and gently lower them in so that we don't burn ourselves. In a bid to try and do a one-up on Kamala Harris, who has claimed that she worked at McDonald's and found the work very tough, Trump decided to go down there for 30 minutes and show how easy the work is. Typically, a McDonald's employee working in the drive through serves 100 to 120 customers per hour, depending on the speed and complexity of the orders. The average speed of service in McDonald's drive throughs is approximately 189.5 seconds per customer. That's just over three minutes per customer. On average for making a fries, it's about three to four minutes. Trump in his entire 30 minutes there makes one batch. He's pretty slow, but to be fair, it's his first day and he's 78. That's a big crowd there. <laughs> That's a big crowd, huh? Mr. Trump, why did you feel it was important to come here today? Uh, I love McDonald's. I love jobs. I like to see good jobs. And I think it's inappropriate when somebody puts down all over the place that she worked at McDonald's. It was a big part of her resume that she worked at McDonald's, how tough a job it was. Uh, she specifically worked at the French fry, where they make the French fries. And she talked about the heat, it was so tough. She never worked at McDonald's. McDonald's just confirmed that again, by the way. She never worked at McDonald's. In other words, she's lying Kamala. Now I'm not going to show the rest because it's really dull, but what I am going to do, I'm going to bring in the fact that Trump is about to break the law, which is absolutely fascinating. But on top of that, he's also going to brag that there's thousands upon thousands of people out there, and then he's going to start serving these customers. But of course, he's definitely not going to do that because they're all people he knows, as we'll see in two seconds. All different jobs. She doing a good job? Does an excellent job. She better, right? She does an excellent job. She's beautiful. Let's go. All right. How many? How many would you put in a bag like this? Like six? You do? Um, six no, mediums. Five is fine. Five. I would take the most. Um, first order, get three medium fries, and they're waiting for you. Okay. Very good. Let's go. Oh, I see. Now I'm going to see that. Oh, that's your customer. Right there. Wow, it's pretty good. Okay, let's say. Do you believe this? Look at this guy. He's a MAGA guy all the way. Okay, so for his first order. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a good looking group. Hello, everybody. This is not a normal situation, is it? Well, you? What a good looking family. How did you produce those people? Oh, they look like your wife. They look like your wife. How are you? Thank you. 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 And there'll be no charge. Trump is paying for it. By giving that food away, Trump has potentially breached campaign finance laws and vote buying statutes. By giving away free food during a campaign event, it's under the Federal Election Campaign Act, also known as the FECA and any in-kind contribution to a campaign must report it to the Federal Election Commission. If the food giveaway was not properly reported as campaign expense, this could constitute a violation of disclosure requirements. And additionally, under 18 US Code 597, it is illegal to give anything of value in exchange for votes. Is he doing that with this? I don't know, it's really ambiguous, but it looks like he's done it. And it's quite funny because Larry David has done an entire episode on this where he gave water away to a lady in the queue who was too hot and waiting to vote. I'm looking at this and going, this seems to be a breach and he's just advertised it without realizing it. Hello, how are you? What a beautiful woman. Look at that beautiful That's what child. It's like the perfect looking person to me. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Mom. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, darling. You have a great mom? Good or great? That's right. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
And that's it. He keeps saying that there are thousands of people, but after that car, no one else turns up. He's literally served five or six cars, and that's it. No one else is there, but he keeps claiming that there are thousands of cars and people waiting for him to serve. And then after all that bragging about the work being easy, all he does for the rest of the video is just talk to the press. He does nothing else. It's really bizarre, and the optics just come off quite crazy. He served five or six people, which is slow for McDonald's, and he's made one batch of fries in half an hour. That is exceptionally slow, but he seems to be patting himself on the back for such good work. I guess it is what it is. But the funny thing is, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, do you think he broke the law by bribing all those people with free food? as well as the press corps that were outside waiting to interview him. But the other thing is, if he's turning around and saying that's easy work and that he can do it, but Kamala just can't, I've done that work. I've been a waiter, bar back, a barman, and a manager, and it's not easy work. So when you hear stuff like that, it just comes off as patronizing and definitely from someone that's not done it. Thank you to my Patreon and YouTube supporters who keep this channel going and growing. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like and subscribe button. Once again, thanks for listening. Bye for now.